and uh, about this container it's a small one and it's only for this video uh, usually I use uh, 200 liters container but the beauty of this system as you can see so uh, this system doesn't make any difference between 20 liter container and 200 liter container for example if you're gonna have a, a steel port system that designed for 200 liters of mesh it won't be possible to make anything out of 20 liters of stuff so in vice versa if you got a 20 liter uh, steel pot steel or whatever other uh, batch steel it wouldn't be any possible to deal with 200 liters stuff at once and you're gonna spend and uh, spend a lot of time and just waste a lot of time because in this system uh, to get your first spirit after you switch it on uh, you're gonna take only uh, it's gonna take only five minutes maximum but uh, in any kind of bigger batch system uh, for example, to deal with 200 liters of stuff, it's gonna take several hours only to start to boil the stuff and get first fraction of spirit. So you see the convenience. Plus, you can switch it on and off anytime you would like to. So, if, for example, you've got only two hours or one hour to distill for today, just switch it on, distill it for one hour, just switch it off, and get away. Nothing will be affected. Your mesh will gonna still. Uh, sitting in its own vessel and all you need to do just switch off the water switch off the power and next day next morning or whatever time you have just switch it on distill as much as you need or whatever as long as you need and you're perfectly okay I don't know if you can see the percentage of the spirit just a little bit over 90 percent so just for your information we've got wind over here and temperature around uh, 5 degrees above the zero outside and I would say the temperature of the spirit in the glass somewhere around 10 or maybe 12 degrees only so it's not even 20 degrees and all the measurements supposed to be done at 20 degrees Celsius so as soon as this uh, spirit will reach the normal temperature it will show some around 94 95 percent so oh, actually the spirit at 90% is already useful it's a uh, 180 proof so but in this system you can reach up to 95% so I would say it's a uh, 190 proof moreover if you tend to use some kind of uh, drying system molecular sieve or whatever for for the spirit drying so it's even easier for you Uh, another advantage of this system it's very light constructed so you can lift it up by your own and uh, move it around every, every way you would like to plus you can take it apart in a matter of few minutes put in the trunk of your car and just transport it any way you would like to as well so I wouldn't say so about uh, batch systems with a big tank that you have to boil they bulky they heavy and uh, they require some space it wouldn't be possible to get it out like I did and perform all of this stuff uh, plus my actual distillery is only two and a half square meters one I keep the 200 liters drum and making my fuel ethanol with this steel very easily now we're gonna now we're gonna perform our engine test so we'll try this spirit as a fuel we'll measure the percentage first as I mentioned it's very cold just shows slightly above 90 percent
So actually the, the engine is absolutely cold. I just got a little bit electrocuted <laughs> from the spark plug. So as you see, uh, fuel performed very good. Engine works. You can start it again if you would like to. So let's say we finish our distillation for today, it doesn't mean that you have to distill all the mesh you've got. And to switch the system off, uh, you would need to do a few simple steps. First of all, just switch off the power, then switch off the pump pump is not working switch over the booster element as well and the system stopping very slowly by itself cooling down the last thing you do It shut the water down and this is it uh, I performed this video outside just on my backyard but it doesn't mean I'm gonna leave this still uh, under the blue sky over the night because there's some um, electric connections connections and everything so uh, again and this back bucket we've got some waste water if this water does contain any spirit, it just could be redistilled later, the same way as you redistill your mesh. This bucket contains some spirit, and it's our fuel ethanol, so you know how to use it. So uh, I would recommend to keep this system in a small uh, kind of distillery or small shed and enjoy it have a good distilling time